Hi, and welcome back. In this episode we will make a script that reads HP in prayer. This is essential for the bot, as it enables us to heal if HP is lower than some value, or know if we're losing HP rapidly, in that case maybe move away from the boss. Enjoy. Arguably, there are many ways to go about reading numbers on screen. For example we can simply use a neural network-based OCR. Many are publicly available. But if you tried this approach, it's generally unreliable, slow, and often inaccurate. Inaccuracy cannot be tolerated for player HP, even if it was accurate 95% of the time. So I'm going to avoid it, and instead I'm going to implement something that solves all these issues. Let's see. The idea here is to extract game digits 0 to 9, save them locally, and then compare them to the current displayed number. What sort of challenges are we facing here? 1. There is a shadow behind the number. 2. HP number color changes when HP drops. 3. Number of digits in one line range from 3 to 1. HP can be 100 plus which is 3 digits, and also 9 or less which is single digit. For challenge 2. We're going to read the current color of the number, then turn it to a standard color, preferably white while the rest of the image will be black. This will allow us to work on a standard color regardless of the current HP number color, which will simplify our matching solution considerably. It will also get rid of the shadow, which is the first challenge, because we're turning anything that's not the same color as the number black. In the end we will have a black and white image where white represents the number. We will do this by running a pixel search for bright pixels, with unique color, and record the color value. Then do a thresholding operation, which in short means turning every pixel with the same color we just recorded white, and every other pixel black. Next, we will extract and threshold digits 0 to 9, and save each black and white digit image locally. The idea here is to compare the digits we extract from the game to these files, using mean squared difference. The file with the least value is the match digit. Going back to the challenges I mentioned earlier, the last one we still didn't solve. How to extract each digit from the full number. If you look closely at the black and white full number image, we can see that there is a black column separating each digit. This is really convenient for us, with some simple logic we can have all three digits each in an image of its own. We will call the module for reading HP and prayer, player.py. This will include other player-related functions later on. Let's start by creating the processing function that turns a colored number image to black and white. Let's call it process n for number. I'm using OpenCV here for thresholding, which means turning a color image to black and white or binary image based on some criteria or logic. The criteria we're going to use here are simple. We're going to look for the color of the number, then turn any pixel with the same color white and the rest black. To find the number color, we're going to go through the first row of the number image, just the first 10 pixels, and as we can see here, this blue channel for the brown background color is 75, while here with the green numbers blue channel is 0. Let's see if there are any color changes along the first row. Okay, the color is consistent for the first 10 plus pixels. Let's check the RGB values for the lower HP values. At 67 the blue channel value is still 0. At 29 the blue channel value is 31, which is still lower than 75. And at 5 the blue channel value is back to 0. So what we can do here is, we can look for blue channel value less than 40 or 50. Once we hit a pixel with that value, we know we're on a pixel that belongs to the number. Therefore we can use that pixel's color for thresholding. This can be done using OpenCV's inRange function when given a specific color. Next up. We want to remove or trim leading and trailing black columns. This will simplify the process of separating digits, because the only black columns in the image will be between digits. 
We will do this by going column by column and remove every column that doesn't contain white pixels until we hit a column with at least one white pixel, then we stop. In code, we will simply check each column for the value 255 which is white. This will be done from the first column and in reverse to trim both ends. And, we're done. Let's test it with the current HP value. We expect a black and white image where the number is white and the background is black, and no black columns at the start or the end. Hum, I'm using image instead of numpy array image here. Okay, looks good, but it's too small here. Let's view the image just to be sure. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. No leading or trailing black columns, and white pixels represent the number, nothing more. Next, we want to split the full number image to multiple digit images. As we discussed earlier, number of digits range from 1 to 3, because HP can be as low as 0 and as high as 115. Initially, we will have three variables, part A, part B, and part C, each one represent one digit. We can use the width of the image as an indicator because we've trimmed black columns. From a quick inspection, we know if the width of the image is lower than 7, it must be single-digit number. On the other hand, we can't separate between triple-digit and double-digit numbers. Because the width of the number 111 is equal to or less than double-digit numbers like 88. In this case, we will use NumPy to look for black columns in between digits. To do this, we will do a column by column search once we hit a full black column. We know that's the last column of the first digit. Then we will continue until we hit a column with at least one white pixel. This is the start of the second digit. and do so until we have three digits or hit the last column, in that case we end up with two digits. Lastly, we will return a list containing images of the digits. Let's run some tests. First, let's check if everything is working without errors and returns the expected list. Good. The length of the list is 2, meaning 2 digits detected. Save each digit image locally, so we can inspect it and make sure it's what we want. It's perfect. Let's try 3 digits. The returned length is 3, great. Let's view the digits. As good as it gets. Last test, let's check single digit numbers.
Great, works for all cases. Using the last function we've just created, I have went ahead and created a database of digits from 0 to 9. We will use this later on to figure the digit value. Let's call this function split n instead. The next function in line is read n. This will parse each digit and figure out the correct digit in the image. We can simply do this by comparing the digit we have to our database of digits. The digit with lowest mean squared difference is the matching one. Since digits have different widths, we have to resize before comparing. Because it's a pixel-for-pixel -pixel comparison, width and height must be equal. Then compare the given digit after resizing to each digit in our database, using mean square difference. In the end, we want to combine all the digits into one single number. Now, we have all what we need to read numbers. I will make a simple function that when given a region on screen returns the whole number. This will be useful in the future for reading all sorts of similar size numbers in the game. Moment of truth, we will run our code to detect HP and prayer in real time. Let's find the coordinates of the screen regions we want. This is shown on paint.net in the bottom left corner. We're testing prayer first because it's easy to control. Error, let's see. I forgot to process the image before splitting and reading. Another error, but different. Found it. I'm adding the whole list here instead of taking the index only. Let's check now. And run. Flawless. I'm going to let it run until prayer is depleted to test all numbers. It crashed for some reason. It looked like it happened on a specific number, let's check. Yeah, it's happening on number 6 only, there is something off with the number. Hmm, I think it's because our row color lookup ends too soon before reaching the number. Let's add 5 more pixels to the search. Great, it worked. The extra zero here is happening because the way I'm printing the result. We can get rid of it by adding spaces after the result. Now, let's try reading all three numbers we have here, HP, prayer and energy. 
All we have to do is find the region of each one on screen and feed it to read vitals function. Works like a charm, love to see it. This was challenging, yet fun and interesting. Next video, I will focus on player-related functions like detecting ceridumen and restore pots, dropping items from the inventory, detect prayer state and use prayer, and lastly make a small script that drinks ceridumen pots when HP is low. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the latest content. I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I did making it, as always your feedback is highly appreciated. Let me know what part of this video you didn't like or want to be changed.